Well, it's a dreary day, but the sun is risen, hallelujah. And we have reason to celebrate that each and every day. Now, getting up this morning, my news feed was full of reports of death tolls, uh, destruction from severe weather, and news of pastors and churches getting in trouble for defying orders to stay safe. And through it all, I had to ask myself, why? Why have we as a society focused on the negative instead of the positive? When did, if it bleeds, it reads, become the standard for what we're told about? Why are we not being told the number of survivors with a byline of those who didn't make it? Why aren't we being told of how whole communities have come together to help each other after a tornado? Why can't we be given a day of good news instead of all bad news? Well, friends, the sun has risen, and we have reason to celebrate each and every day. Now, Friday, we read Psalm 48, 1 through 8, and we talked about community. Well, today, our scripture is Psalm 48, verses 9 to 14. So get your Bible and read along, or listen as I read it. Psalm 48, 9 to 14. Within your temple, O God, we meditate on your unfailing love. Like your name, O God, your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with righteousness. Mount Zion rejoices. The villages of Judah are glad because of your judgments. Walk about Zion. Go around her. Count her towers. Consider well her ramparts. View her citadels that you may tell of them to the next generation. For this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even to the end. We have put so much faith into the news media to keep us informed that we have surrendered our ability to discern truth. Well, let me impart some truth for you. Jesus is the true temple. And when we unite with him by faith, we receive his spirit and become a living temple in which God dwells. When Christians count Zion's towers, they thank God for the church and joyfully wonder at what they have become in Christ. When they tell of them to the next generation, they show those asking questions the way of salvation through Jesus and that the Lord is our guide even to the end. Well, the end of what? Well, there are many endings in life, and the greatest one is being death. Its mystery and terror are made bearable by the knowledge that Jesus will be with us into death and out the other side. The sun has risen, and we have reason to celebrate. Jesus is the true temple, and when we unite with him by faith, we receive his spirit and we become a living temple in which God dwells. Let's pray. <clears throat> Lord, I need to be melted by spiritual understanding of the greatness of what we have become in you. We are your flock, your dwelling, your body, your kingdom, your people, your love. Teach me how to love all the people of our church, of all the people of your church. Lord, be with us through this time of gloom and isolation and help us to discern your good word from all the others we may be hearing. We pray that even today, when we can't see the sun, that you would remind us that the Son of God still reigns over all the earth. Amen. Now, friends, as always, if you have any questions, you can call or you can contact me. If you need to talk, contact me. Now, I would ask again that you take some time from your schedule and reach out to someone who may be at home alone and to check on them and to let them know that they are not forgotten, but that they are loved. The sun has risen, and we have reason to celebrate. So be blessed, my friends. Be blessed.